We are nearly halfway through the city of Cleveland's trial period for e-scooters, and while the scooters have hit some speed bumps, the city says the pros are outweighing the cons. News 5's Emily Hamilton shows us how Cleveland plans to improve the e-scooter experience moving forward. Quick and easy access to two-wheel transportation on nearly every street corner. And people that use them to get to and from work where they might have once driven, they're using them to get from meetings day to day or running errands. If you're going somewhere short distance, just like for short distance commuting, I use it for a two-mile commute to work every day. The scooter takeover began in August under a six-month pilot program. With cold temperatures seemingly here to stay, Will the scooters disappear? With winter weather and concerns about slicker streets, the companies have the ability to turn off the scooters so that riders can't rent them until roadways clear up. Most of the companies take them off the streets during icy conditions, but they can be a little difficult. The newer models have bigger tires, so you can get through the ice. Freddie Collier, a city planning commissioner, says the surge of scooters puts downtown Cleveland on the map as a tourist destination similar to New York and Los Angeles. I think the advantage here is that we've managed the program better than a lot of these cities that you've mentioned. He believes Cleveland's no riding scooters on sidewalks policy keeps the city pedestrian friendly, and saves time and money for commuters. You know, when you get off a bus and you have to go a few blocks, this is a legitimate option. You know, for people like myself who have to get to meetings downtown, it saved me on parking tickets, to be quite honest. One roadblock city officials are working through, ensuring riders know proper parking procedures. Keeping walkways clear is very important for everyone, but then think about if you're a mom with a stroller or if you're someone with vision impairments, it can make it really difficult to continue to get around. The city has teamed up with our local chapter of the National Federation of the Blind for advice on how it can improve day-to-day -day scooter operations for the visually impaired. Reporting in downtown Cleveland, Emily Hamilton, News 5.